Hello everyone. I just wanted to make this video to give you guys a quick update on what's going on with the YouTube channel. As some of you may or may not be aware, YouTube is changing its terms of service. It's taking full advantage of trying to weed out people who do less than savory work, like yours truly. Now, I haven't been affected by this, nor do I think that I will. But as a precautionary measure, I'm opening up a Patreon, which you can find on my link tree, both of which will be linked in the description below. Now, the reason I decided to do this is so that you guys can follow and have all of my audios. Since the videos can't be uploaded themselves, you'll be able to listen to the audios in a podcast format, meaning just the audios as is. You'll be able to listen to them as you sleep, wherever you want, from the RSS feed that is provided for you through Patreon. You'll be able to listen to it through Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, whatever it is that you would like to listen through, rather than having on your phone on YouTube. And you can usually cast it somewhere else, either through a Bluetooth speaker or however you want to do it. That being said, the reason there's no video this week was because I was setting up the Patreon. I still have to upload all of the audios one at a time to the Patreon. But for $10 a month, you get all of the audios accessible to you pretty much anywhere. You'll get the full library, plus all the new releases. In fact, since the audio is typically done before the video, I'll upload it a few hours earlier and you might actually get it up to 24 hours before I release the video on YouTube. Of course, I also have the NSFW tier, which will be all of my NSFW work so far for only $15 a month, again, in audio podcast format, where you can listen to it at your leisure, if that's something that you're interested in. If you would decide to go ahead and follow me on there, you'll be guaranteed at least a monthly update of NSFW work. And you'll be able to vote on what it is you want to hear. So if you want some more spicy audios, you can support me there. Rather than going through OnlyFans, where I have it where you purchase it as they're released. I'll probably still do both, just in case people want to support me there. Or, But if you want, there is a tip jar that's available to you as well. Something else I want to bring up is that uh, soon, Spooky Season will officially be kicking off. Granted, too, it's already kicked off for some of us, meaning me. But as of right now, I want to go ahead and focus on uh, a couple of things. Regrets Episode 5, Season 2, Episode 2, um, I'm going to be working on, but I need another VA to help me out with it. I know. Not usual for my channel, but you guys voted on having a collab done. And it's one of the better collabs that I can think of. I also have a script in the works for my year anniversary on October 6th. I don't know if it will be ready by then, but I'm having Lupin work on it. And those of you who know Lupin Stole My Heart, she does great work. I think you'll like it. It's going to be very cute. That being said... I'm also going to be doing something for Nikki Tupins, who, who's gathered quite a bit of the VAs around uh, up to 55 of them, I believe. It's a large number, and we're each going to be telling two spooky stories for the month of October. So I'm planning on releasing those as quickly as possible. The two stories are something that I've written in the past that I think will provide generous amounts of chills, thrills... And in one case's spills, you'll see what I mean later. That being said, I know you overwhelmingly decided that you wanted more of the safer work, cute, cuddly stuff. And I'm not one to fight my fans, so you'll see a couple of those audios. In fact, hopefully soon we'll see the return of Gradir, the uh, Green Dragon, as well as Omar Darling, before the Traveler goes on on their adventure meaning you, the listener, if you're keeping up with the lore. That being said, I also have a couple of other ideas. Now, the other reason that I haven't updated 
this week is because I'm transitioning. As many of you may know, I am a licensed practicing counselor in real life, meaning not on the tubes of you. And what that essentially means is that I'm going to be going into my own private practice. I was previously working under someone else, and while I appreciate everything that they've done for me, it is time that I've moved on. So I'm picking up stakes and starting somewhere else. Brand new, by myself. That transition hasn't been anywhere near as much of a headache as I previously thought it might be. But it did require a little bit of effort and elbow grease on my end. So I hope to be able to update things a little bit more smoothly for the time being. Now, next week is going to be a little bit difficult. I'm going to try and get a recording done today so that you guys have something for next Thursday. Or I should say this Thursday coming up. Um, it's going to be a little bit harder for me because I'm going to have my son most of the week. So it's going to be a little bit difficult. I'll probably end up recording Thursday and Friday to keep up with my schedule and try to get everything in order. But I just want to give you guys a general heads up of what's going on. That being said, I want to thank you all for your support and, you know, watching these videos and leaving all the wonderful comments that you do. It really does keep me going. I appreciate even when I don't put out a video, you guys are still supporting the channel. Personally, I hate missing videos. I hate losing that feel of, like, forward momentum. But, I mean, I have a small infant son, so there's that to contend with as well. That being said, uh, if there is anything else you'd like to see, please let me know. And in the meantime, um, another thing that I'm working on in the background, I'm working on some merchandise. I know currently the only thing I have on our... I know the only thing I have right now on this shop is the Theodore A. Bear t-shirts, mugs, all of that. But what I'm hoping to do is create uh, more artwork. I'm commissioning a couple of artists to do some work for me. So hopefully we'll get to see um, some Louis... Hopefully we'll get to see some of my werewolf Louis Garo on some merchandise, a Keitham my Lich, and hopefully some Stroke of Midnight merch itself. I'm working on that in the meantime, but it may take a little bit. Alright. That being said, everyone, thank you again for all of your support and listening, and thank you for your patience. I know this isn't exactly what you wanted to hear, and I'm very sorry that I wasn't able to deliver. But in the meantime, sweet dreams and pleasant nightmares.